ECDL Advanced Word Lesson 59 Working with Field Codes Fields are used for two main purposes. Firstly, to insert codes, which are then substituted with current information such as the date or the document title. Secondly, to define parts of a document which will accept data input in a form, for example. Form fields are described in a later lesson. If we open the document summary, display the file tab and make sure that info is selected. In the document properties panel on the right, select show all properties which you will find at the bottom. Down in the related people we have down the author we wish to add another author and for this if you put in your name and the title as technical report. Click away and then go back to the original document. At the top of the document, add four blank lines, so I'm just going to press enter four times. Click in the first blank line and select the insert tab. As we look across, what we will find is an option which is quick parts. Go for the drop down list next to it and click field. At that stage, the field dialog box is displayed. In the categories section, select documents information. And then from the field names, select title. And then click OK. As an aside, if a field code, which is enclosed in curly brackets, is shown instead of this field content, then in that case we can toggle by pressing Alt F9. So I'm going to press the Alt and then the F9 button. And as you'll see, now it is being shown as field code rather than field content. Then press Alt F9 again just to get back to where we were. On the second line, we want to insert the field author. So again, insert quick parts, field, and this time we want author. So click on author, press OK. It now has the names of the two authors, the original one, Dawn Harvey, and the one that we added just before, which is me, Martin Radnan. On the third line, we wish to enter the file size. So click into the third line, insert, quick parts, field, file size is the one we want and then I'm going to keep the formatting exactly as it is just press OK and it will then tell us the file size is 14,016. Note that all the fields we've used so far are from the document information category. On the fourth line we want to insert the field fill in from the mail merge category. So, insert, quick parts, field. We don't want document information this time. The one we want is mail merge. And we want to select the field name fill in. And then press OK. In the pop-up window that appears, enter the text information. And then press OK. The contents that we entered in the fill-in box is now entered into the document itself. So, fill-in fields prompt for data to be entered whenever the field is updated. So these are often used in templates and also in mail merge applications, which we'll be coming to in a later chapter. Fields can also be added to headers and footers. If we go for the Insert tab, select Header, 
and then edit header. We're now in the header itself. If we now go for insert quick parts field, I want to select the file name. So again, that's back to document information. And within there, we've got file name. And then I also want to add the path to the file name as well. So if we click over here in the field options, it'll give us not just the name of the file, but the path to get there. At that point, press OK. And we'll now see precisely where to find this document which is called summary with the full path of directory and subdirectories to actually navigate there. Next, from the design tab, select go to footer and we now want to add a date and time. But I only want to put the time on the left hand side of the footer. So I'm going to select a time, make sure it's ticked to update automatically and then press OK. It has now entered the current time. If we press tab twice it'll take us over to the other side of the footer, to the right hand side of the footer. Over here what I want to do is just to put the date itself. So again let's go on design, date and time this time I just want the date, nothing else. Make sure it's update automatically and press OK. So now I have the time on the left hand side of the footer and I have the date on the right hand side of the footer. Finally, this particular piece of work needs to be saved as fields. So let's just zoom out to see what it looks like. Now let's save. So file, and we're going to save it as fields, F-I-E-L-D-S. Okay, look forward to seeing you next time.